Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian. And I'm going to provide you with a little bit of information on how to read the nutrition facts label. And in particular, how to determine the amount of fat grams and calories that come from fat. We, pro we get provided calories from three different sources. Our fat, the carbohydrates, and the protein that we consume throughout the day. Now fat is kind of special because it contains the most calories per gram. So special meaning that this becomes the focus a lot of times in a weight loss or weight maintenance program. There's different types of fats as well. We have saturated fats, we have polyunsaturated and monounsaturated. Now the saturated fats really are the harmful ones, meaning they increase our risk for cardiovascular disease, they build up on the um, the arterial walls and form that plaque or the hardening of the arteries um, and again just increase our risk for that on unwanted um, heart conditions. Now looking at the other types of fat, the polyunsaturated and monounsaturated, these actually have been proven for positive heart health as well as um, good brain development, joint movement, and they often have, are found in foods that often contain also fat soluble vitamins, again that are good for overall metabolism and well-being. Now our saturated fat sources are really animal products as they also contain cholesterol. Those unsaturated fats like our mono and polyunsaturated are from plant and nut sources. So if you can choose the oils over the solid fats, you're really doing better here. Now getting back to the food nutrition facts label, here you can see the total fat listed. Now oftentimes the product will list saturated fats or trans fats as again those are the harmful ones. Sometimes if a product is trying to promote that it's a good source of a healthy fat, they will list them underneath here as well. This product however does not. Now normally the calculation is kind of done for us. Like I mentioned, calories provide us about 10 grams or excuse me, 10 calories per gram. So the math is a little bit off here and that just could be some sort of um, different ingredient contributing or taking away from some of the fat calories. So basically, 120 calories are coming from fat out of the total once 260. Now again, this is per serving, so if you consume this whole container, you would have to multiply this by two to see exactly how many calories you were getting from fat. Otherwise, the information here is pretty cut and dry. Like I said, it will mention the bad fats, as typically those are the ones you really want to be monitoring and avoiding and keeping track of in your diet, again, as they increase our health risks. Um, and a lot of times, we'll often provide you the calories from fat. That's just a little bit of information on our dietary fat and how to read the nutrition facts label and really utilize it to benefit your health needs. I'm Charlotte, and eat happy.